Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to kick off the very first game of the Tristcraft Cup, and uh, I am your host, Constantine. And we're going to be going right into the first game between Valk and Karin on Lost Temple, and they're yelling at me to start the game in anger. Super excited about this game. I'm going to have to do a little uh, sound check and stuff once I get in. I think I have the, the volume up a little too high right now. Uh, pretty interesting game. Karn isn't feeling all that strong right now. He thinks that he's going to get destroyed by Valk, who has been tearing up the Diamond League. Um, not really sure, especially because uh, Terran is generally considered really strong against Zerg, especially on this map, with the uh, the ledge being able to be abused by the Terran player. Let's see if Karn decides to go for tanks or something that will be able to abuse that. I'm going to go in here and change the sound down to the proper volume, as well as uh, take off the unit bars. So we have Karn spawning in the uh, 9 o'clock position and as the yellow Terran, and we have Valk spawning as the orange Zerg in the uh, noon-ish position. It's more like 1 o'clock. Uh, this is going to be actually really good for Karn because... Uh, is not going to allow Valk to get this nice little crescent, although I know Valk, he likes to go for a one base roach play, so I'm not sure he's going to be doing that. He's going to go for a quick drone scout, and he's going to see that Karin is, in fact, in the close positions, which is going to maybe help uh, Valk because he likes to play one base aggressive. Uh, and I know Karin is uh, usually what he does is go for a uh, one uh, barracks, uh, one factory tank push early. So this, that actually might be pretty even. Uh, really early scout by Valk is actually going to almost try and get uh, some kind of harass in the supply depot with both these SCVs here. It's really not going to matter at all. Karn not uh, building SCVs here. He's kind of focusing on uh, his macro or his uh, micro over here. Is going to hurt his economy a little bit. If you are really good with your economy or with your build order, you can get the 15th SCV out when this barracks is finished exactly. So we'll be able to see exactly how off he is from that. Valk is going for a relatively early pool. I'm pretty sure this was a uh, 12 pool, 12 gas, and he's just now building up the drones. Uh, he's going to be putting three guys in gas early. He's going to have about 70-ish gas whenever the spawning pool finishes, so he'll be able to get either uh, a fair number of roaches later or zergling speed out pretty early. Really low count on the drones because he went for that early gas plus spawning pool combination. So it's really going to kind of hamper him. He's going to have to be building drones probably for a while, which is why I bet he's going to be throwing down that Roach Warren. Uh, you don't want to go for speedlings with this kind of a low e low econ build with only like that many drones. So Karn has his barracks out. Um, he's getting his orbital command up. Yeah, he's only at 16 um, right now. So I think he might he might have delayed that... Um, that 16th uh, worker in order to get out the um, the orbital command right when the barracks finished. Just a little bit of timing issue from the fact that he wasn't um, perfect on that. He's going to be throwing down a factory and probably going to be mass producing marines out of this one barracks and then going for uh, that early tank push. Valk has uh, moved out with these first two zerglings. He's going to try and take the watchtower from Karn who has left an SCV on hold position. Probably not the smartest thing to do. Even if you're not even going to pay attention to it, if you don't, if you just leave it on stop, once it gets attacked, it'll start running away, since SCVs are retarded and don't know how to attack on their own. Looks like we have Vault going to go for some kind of baneling bust. Um, don't really know if I like this or not, uh, especially because Karn is going to be really proactive and come back and take this watchtower with three Marines. Um, I like that uh, he's getting a reactor here as well as a tech lab. Um, Anytime you move out and you see the, the Zerg backing up and you also see that there's no speedlings on uh, all already like finished, you probably have the time to get this reactor down. It's going to be throwing down a second barracks here. Uh, so it's a pretty standard barracks, factory barracks opening. Um, a lot of Terrans like doing this uh, against Zerg because it allows for uh, a wide range of units and you can also get Hellions out early to deal with Banelings. I think, I think the biggest... Uh, risk that Karn is running right now is that he hasn't gotten a single Hellion to scout, although he is doing really well at uh, moving around and taking out these overlords. This little pack of three marines is going to do a really... Uh-oh, he's going to lose him right here. Um, I don't know how many Zerglings he's going to take out. Three marines, really not that much, so Vulcan getting some free kills there, although he did take out that overlord, so 
the uh, units lost tab right now is pretty similar. Um, not really going to have too much impact on what's going on for the rest of the game. Uh, I like how uh, Valk has gone with this uh, speedling build uh, with Banelings that he's eventually going to morph right now. Uh, someone is pinging. I don't know which uh, observer that is, but someone is pinging. And um, we're going to see the tank siege going down real soon. This is actually going to be really close, depending on where he puts these banelings. Or oh, this is. It looks like uh, Volk's going to be able to exploit a really small window here. That's a lot of banelings. So even if this tank gets one shot off, unless it's perfect, he's probably not going to be able to defend this well. If he could just oh, if if he doesn't go in now, if he sieges up right now, oh, oh, I think it's this is bad. Oh, oh, the tank is actually. Uh, took out their own supply depot. Oh, if, if he had actually gone in, he could have got in range and probably done a good job to take this out. But it looks like this has failed, so now I would put Karn in a commanding lead. You can see the uh, the drone count for Valk is really low. He's throwing down a Roach Warren now. Cause he, he realizes that there's already siege mode done with tanks. This wall going to be rebuilt. He's got a great economy built up here. He's got I'd say twice as many drones. Uh, yeah, about twice as many drones. And uh, he's got three tanks out already. I'm going to look to see Karin do a uh, timing push in about two to three minutes once he builds up a, a nice supplementary force of Marines. And uh, maybe maybe just Marines. I, I would like to see him throw a few Marauders in, anticipating the uh, the transition to war, uh, Roach Warren. Also, be good to save up this and scan right now to see what kind of tech that uh, Valk's going to switch to. He knows Valk's on one base, and here comes his timing push. A little earlier than I'd like. These are some naked uh, tanks, really, and you're actually going to see this right here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Karn will be able to clean this up, but he did lose a fair number of, of uh, Marines, and now those tanks are even more uh, naked. Um, I'd like to see a siege right here. Yeah, this is just going to be a contain, a temporary contain. You don't want to move too far in here. Um, before you are uh, really defending these tanks, but I'm gonna look to see. Yep, even more marines. I, I like leaving the three uh, marines here, even though he probably did it on accident. It's um, always good because in case some speedlings move by whenever he's unseaged in some fashion, he's just gonna do a really slow push, two tanks at a time, almost full distance apart. I'd like to see those tanks a little bit closer when they're that far apart. Uh, the Zerglings can get in range of the tanks before these ones in the back could even hit them. Now this is a good range right here. I'm going to move this tank up. Um, really has no sight on the high ground. That's not, not very good. I mean, I, he might be saving up scans, which he actually isn't. If there were Hydras right here, this would be really bad. Uh, although it looks like Valk is, is going to be uh, completely out of this game soon. He's not going to like what he sees. The unit's right there in his base. Oh, but there's these these tanks are not. Oh yeah, and incoming GG in moments. Uh, the game really hinged on uh, the fact that I think Valk pulled back with his his speedlings. Oh, he left the game without GGing right as we just had a conversation about bad manners. How wonderful! All right, we're gonna move right into the next game here.